Hello my dear students, I will be starting a series of video lectures on plant biology otherwise called as botany. The first chapter we will be discussing is plant anatomy. Before we start the chapter, take a copy and pen and take a look important points. What is plant anatomy? Plant anatomy is the study of internal structures of plants. Study of internal structures of plants is called as plant anatomy. It is opposite to plant morphology where we study the external structures of plants. Root, stem, leaf, flower, fruit and seed and all that. Is science ka agas kiya tha? Scientist hai and grew. And grew. Isne agas kiya is science ka. That's why isko hum bolte kabhi kabar. Father of plant anatomy. Or Bharat ke andar is science ka agaz kiya. Chaudhri sahab ne. K.A. Chaudhri. K.A. Chaudhri is otherwise called as. Father of Indian plant anatomy. Father of Indian plant anatomy. And there is a very famous book. Ek mashur kitab hai. Jo anatomy pe likhi gai thi 1960s mein. Us book ka naam hai. The anatomy of seed plants. The anatomy of seed plants. ये book का नाम है. The anatomy of seed plants. इसका एक और नाम है. और Webster's of plant biology. Webster's of plant biology. Webster's of plant biology. The anatomy of seed plants also called. Webster's of Plant Biology was authored by K. Isau, e -S -E -U, K. Isau in 1960s. This book has a huge content of information about the science. Okay. Isko hum karenge revised equipment mein. What's plant anatomy? Simply, the study of internal structures of plants is called as plant anatomy. Simple. N. Grew is called as father of plant anatomy because he started the science. K. Chaudhary sahab ka hum bolte hai naam father of Indian plant anatomy. Ek mashur book hai jo anatomy likhi gai hai. The anatomy of seed plants. Iska ek or naam hai. Webster's of plant biology. To iska likhne wala. Iska likhne wala hai. K. Isav. Lady scientist hai. K. Isav is the author of anatomy of seed plants. Also called Webster's of Plant Biology. Chalte hai aage. Aage haam dekhenge important cheez jisko haam baulte hai tissues. Tissues ke baare mein tazkira hooga. Tissue kya hai? What's tissue? Where plant tissues, we have animal tissues. Pehle term pe aate hai. Term plant tissue, tissue term for plants was given by Grew, father of plant anatomy. He also gave the term plant tissue and term animal tissue was given by, by Chad. Term plant tissue was given by Grew and term animal tissue was given by, by Chad. Okay, what do you mean by tissue? Yes, you are right. Tissue means a group of similar or dissimilar cells. If they have same origin and they are performing similar functions. Simple in the last minute. This is a cell. This cell division. This cell division. This is a group of cells. A mass of cells. This is a mass of cells. And these all cells are alike. They are same in shape. Here is one more cell. इस सेल ने भी माइटोसिस किया मियोसिस क्या 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 कुछ भी डिवीजन किया इसने भी एक मास ऑफ सेल्स बनाया यहां पे एक मास ऑफ सेल्स है लेकिन इसमें आधे सेल्स की शेप इलांगेटेड आधे है पॉलीगोनल आधे है स्फेरिकल इट्स आल्सो ए ग्रुप ऑफ सेल्स इट्स आल्सो ए मास ऑफ सेल्स बट दे आर ऑफ डिफरेंट शेप ग्रुप ऑफ सिमिलर और डिसिमिलर सेल्स हैविंग कॉमन ओरिजिन Having common origin 
and performing similar functions is called as tissue. It's simple. Jot down the point. Group of similar or dissimilar cells having common origin and performing similar functions is tissue. What is the study of tissues called? You are right. It is called histology. Very nice. Study of tissues is called as histology shortly. Term tissue for plants was given by Engrave and tissue for animals was given by Bychat. What is tissue? A group of similar or dissimilar cells having common origin and performing similar functions is called as tissue. And the study of tissues is called as histology. Okay, aage chalte hai. Aage chalte hai. Classification the king of tissues ke baathe mein kya hai? What is classification of tissues? Tissues are mainly categorized into two main types. Two main types of tissues are first we call them meristematic tissues. Meristematic tissues. Another what we call as permanent tissues. Permanent tissues. Tissues are mainly divided into meristematic and permanent tissues. What are these meristematic tissues? Those tissues which retain power of cell division. Those tissues which can divide. They are called meristematic. Again, they can be in detail, inshallah. The permanent tissues is opposite. Hai. Those tissues which cannot divide, which have lost the power of cell division, they are called permanent. Means meristematic tissues are those tissues which retain power of cell division and permanent tissues are those tissues which have lost power of cell division. Permanent tissues ke fir do type se apne. Apne do type se isko. Ya hum dekhin ki aage meristematic tissues ke aage classification hogi. Permanent tissues ke do main types kya hai? Pehla hai simple permanent tissue SPT. Another Complex permanent tissue CPT. What are simple permanent tissues? These are those permanent tissues which are composed of similar types of cells. Germany deficient Ebola. A tissue is a group of similar or dissimilar. These are group of cells which are similar in shape. Simple permanent tissue is that tissue which is composed of similar types of cells. All cells are alike. And complex permanent tissue is that tissue which is composed of different types of cells. Okay, simple permanent tissue is ke apne teen kisme hai. Pehla hai iska parenchyma. Pehla type. Dusra hai iska colonchyma. Colonchyma. Tisra hai iska. Sikleran kaima. Sikleran kaima. Peran kaima. and Sikleran kaima. Three subtypes of simple permanent tissues. Or complex permanent tissues ke do types se apne. One we call as xylem. X Y L E M. Xylem. Another we call phloem. P H L O E M. Phloem. So. Tissues ke do main categories hai. Meristematic tissues and permanent tissues. Meristematic tissues are those tissues which retain power of cell division. Permanent tissues are those tissues which have lost power of cell division. Ye divide kar sakte hai, ye divide nahi kar sakte hai. Simple permanent tissues are those tissues which are composed of similar types of cells. All cells are same, alike in shape. Complex permanent tissues, different types of cells are in the group. Then parenchyma, colonchyma, and sclerenchyma, three subtypes of simple permanent tissue. And xylem and phloem are the two subtypes of complex permanent tissue. Hum isko one by one paringe detail mein. To pehla hum agaz karinge meristematic tissue se. Meristematic tissue se agaz karinge. Kya hai ye meristematic tissue? Dekh lijiye ya. Underline carrying a hum meristematic tissue. Meristematic tissue. Jo meristematic tissue hai, ebi menebola. 
मेरिस्टमेट टिश्यूज आर दोज व्हिच रिटेन पावर ऑफ सेल डिवीजन ये डिवाइड कर सकते हैं ये सेल्स ये टिश्यूज टर्म मेरिस्टमेटिक असल में आ गया है एको टर्म से दैट्स कॉल्ड मेरिस्टोस टर्म मेरिस्टोस इसी से आ गया है मेरिस्टमेटिक टर्म मेरिस्टोस मींस टू डिवाइड मेरिस्टोस मींस टू डिवाइड और डिविजिबल डिवाइड होना एंड दिस टर्म मेरिस्टोस व्हिच मींस टू डिवाइड और डिविजिबल वाज गिवन बाय नेजिली वाज गिवन बाय नेजिली व्हाट आर दीस मेरिस्टमेटिक टिश्यूज यस दोस टिश्यूज व्हिच रिटेन पावर ऑफ सेल डिवीजन दे आर कॉल्ड मेरिस्टमेटिक टिश्यूज what are the various characteristics of these metastomatic cells metastomatic tissues ha huh. characteristics pe aa jayenge kya kya characteristics hote hain in cells ke in cells ke kya kya metastomatic cells ke these metastomatic cells they have power of cell division that we know then they have a very prominent nucleus they have a very prominent prominent means a large nucleus conspicuous nucleus a big nucleus at the center they have a prominent nucleus at the center of the cell and then when nucleus is present a prominent and big nucleus is present it must have high quantity of dna rna and proteins high quantity of dna rna proteins they have a prominent nucleus with high quantity of dna rna and proteins their cytoplasm is very dense their cytoplasm is very dense they have dense cytoplasm they have very dense cytoplasm and these all plant cells have normally centrally located vacuole cell vacuole animal cells do not have cell vacuoles normally but these mastomatic cells are either avacuolated non vacuolated they do not have central cell vacuole or vacuoles can be small means vacuole <coughs> vacuole either absent or small or small and their cell wall is only composed of cellulose they have only primary cell wall no secondary cell walls exist only primary cell wall 1 degree cell wall which is composed of cellulose polymer of beta d glucose cellulose is a polymer of long chain of beta d glucose units okay this primary cell wall exists which is composed of cells no secondary cell walls are present in case of meristematic cells <coughs> and <coughs> these meristematic cells they have they have no ergastic substances no ergastic substances ergastic substance means non living substances they are completely absent and these meristematic tissues they have a very important character as well that is these meristematic tissues which are present in plant systems responsible for growth that is they increase their growth they increase the length of the plants that's very important the character that we'll be discussing in due course of time in due course of time we'll be discussing that one as well that important point